do a little warm up this morning. Um, it's just kind of a, a response to Chris Bragg, who specifically um, mentioned that he'd like to see a video demonstrating overtones. So as far as overtones, I basically like to use this a lot as a warm up. I do like a basic octave slur thing, um, which we used to call like 2-1 because it starts from the second um, partial down to the fundamental. And then, you know, I'll also demonstrate some other things. And really the goal with this is it helps with flexibility as far as being able to play notes in different ranges of the horn without um, drastically changing your embouchure, which you don't want to do. Um, one thing that I will do when I'm playing the overtones and, and in general when I'm playing is, you know, I try to kind of have my tongue in the position like if you were going to say the French T syllable. And what that does is it helps focus the airstream. So we're going to do 2-1. I'll start on middle E. No octave key for any overtones. It's always all done to train the positioning of your tongue and your throat basically. And then I'll work down by half steps. I'm, I'm picking up my horn cold here, so <clears throat> I haven't warmed up or anything, so it's a little rusty. <sighs> actually kind of feel in I don't know the soft palate of your mouth and your throat kind of how things will kind of change as you change the notes it's like nothing really changes here but but you can feel it, it it's a different feeling for each note and when you get into the overtone matching um, if my battery doesn't go dead on my camera it, it, that's really what that matching is all about is getting the feel of the standardly fingered note to be similar to the feel of the overtone note Another exercise is just working on a single fingering, playing the different overtones. Um, I'll do these a lot kind of up and down, so I'll start on C. <laughs> melodies and bugle calls and you know you get more advanced you can actually use different fingerings to use different <laughs> overtones and you know almost play scales using all like overtone notes and that's you know the kind of the beginning of a lot of the things that advanced players like a Liebman or a Brecker you know where they'll use all kinds of overtone fingerings in their solos um, to get different tone qualities in the note but that's really the basic <laughs> any of the notes I should have said that on the top so I'll do this without tonguing and I'm gonna go back to um, some of the, the other fingerings were speaking a little better I'll go back to the low B flat <laughs>
out, so I've been moving around too much. I gotta watch that. But um, you know, that's it's the basic thing. I, I really feel like, for me personally, I get a lot of mileage just out of the basic octave slur because um, it really is a good thing. And then once you do that, it, it, it's just an extension of interval studies. And then I'll show the matching. But the octave slur, I mean, that's really my favorite warm up. I do that pretty much any time I pick up the horn. You know, I'll blow a little bit, and then I start on the um. And, and you can hear on a few of them, I'm, I'm starting to ch change the pitch a little bit, which I should not be doing. It, it, it's like I'm having a little difficulty getting the lower note to pop out. So, you know, it's probably a throat tongue position thing. And, and I was actually traveling for about a week, so I was away from my sax. And, it, man, the overtones, you notice that when you're not doing them every day or you know, every other day, whatever your practice routine is. 